Aloha. I just came back from Hawaii and in Hawaii the the way the people are greeting is uh, Aloha. And Hawaii was fascinated to me after reading the census uh, report that the largest number of centenarians uh, in United States um, happen to be from Hawaii. For example, every 100,000 uh, uh, people, uh, there are 20 of them are centenarians in Hawaii, compared to only 10 of them out of 100,000 in the mainland. And my uh, curiosity was, what is the reason behind um, there are more uh, uh, centenarians proportionately living in Hawaii than in the mainland area. Uh, there are some literature which already uh, documented some of the things. I thought of personally interview some uh, centenarians. So uh, I spent uh, uh, 10 days in Hawaii and uh, I was uh, at the University of Hawaii and I talked to the uh, the professor who is uh, in charge of herbal medicine there by the name of Professor Levon Ohai and that is one of the few places in the uh, United States where they offer a, a, a diploma in herbal medicine and his uh, teaching expertise are ethnobotany and um, the herbal medicine there is called uh, uh, Lau Lau Lapawa. So I spent some time with him and to get a feel of uh, some of the secret of their long life of centenarians in Hawaii and one of the things he talked about especially up in the island area, uh, up in the mountain areas and in some of the uh, ocean front area, it is um, their lifestyle which involved even still using the oral tradition of uh, herbs as part of their um, uh, healing process. You know? And um, if you look at uh, Hawaii, one segment of the centenarians, they are of uh, Okinawan uh, origin and uh, Okinawans. And Okinawans, uh, they were living there for uh, uh, several hundred years. And, um, and apparently, even now, across the world, uh, they found out that uh, the Japanese of Okinawan um, uh, ancestry and they seems to have the highest number of uh, centenarians uh, around the world and uh, even in uh, Hawaii also there is a group of people who are of Okinawan descent um, their uh, uh, life expectancy is much uh, greater so uh, I spent some time uh, talking to uh, one of the Okinawan Americans by the name of Okita and, and she is 102 years old. Um, I did talk to some other uh, uh, Hawaiians are also who is um, 100 and uh, plus years old. And I would like to share with you uh, some of the uh, common uh, reasons uh, for their uh, uh, long life. You know, one, the, one of the things they all uh, were sharing with me was the the congenial lifestyle so these um, uh, Hawaiians you know uh, the way they live and um, of course their comfortable weather is also part of it and also they got clean air um, Okinawa uh, no, and other uh, uh, cultural groups in uh, Hawaii in general and they all have uh, clean air and they got comfortable weather and um, and I think beyond that, and there is something else also um, we need to uh, understand about the Hawaiians' uh, long life. You know, um, in general, um, I notice, and they use more water to cook than oil. The way they uh, prepare their meal, you know, the diet definitely has a, a factor in uh, their long life, and. Uh, they use more fresh fruits and vegetable than frozen food, you know, uh, for their daily consumption. And they eat very small quantities uh, uh, in terms of their uh, 
uh, eating and even if their uh, uh, physical frame is very large the way they consume their food is very uh, uh, minimal according to us you know that small portion uh, they eat you know is very much there and um, their um, uh, strong family network is another factor they are all saying about their secret of long life and um, they got three four five generation families and they are living together or living nearby and they socialize quite a bit and they care for each other and that is something and they are always saying that social uh, network not only among their family and even their uh, friends and uh, neighbors is very much there and and another thing i notice uh, they do not get upset unnecessarily uh, or uh, in my encounter i never saw them uh, getting upset as such you know and they all got a reason to live and the sense of purpose in life they even if they are 103 years old they still have a reason to live long and uh, that particular um, attitude may be a factor for their long life also you know uh, and spirituality again is uh, very much there um, they believe in something beyond their control and then they find a uh, comfort in uh, not knowing the answer of why why it is happened to my spouse why it happened to my child why it is happening to the neighbors and why it is happening to the community um even if they are sad they have a way of recuperating from that sad uh, news much much faster you know and their level of stress is very very minimal um uh, i had a fortune of uh, uh, talking to a person who is a musician at the age of 103 he still uh, uh, commute uh, back and forth between uh, california and hawaii and um, uh, he uh, his name is bill tapia um, he is a musician and he always enjoy uh, singing he says even at the young age and even at the 103 years and he still composes and play different instruments and the level of happiness is very much there uh, uh, in this particular cohorts of um, uh, centenarians and um, and you could see the, the the beauty of the nature they are enjoying you know is very much there and uh, they always wear um, uh, a flower on their uh, uh, neck most of the time and um they they look at the plants and they look at the flower and they talk to them and um the nature is something you know they really uh, appreciate you know they have a positive appreciation to whatever is around them and their room is full of pictures and um i interviewed uh, one centenarian and he enjoy painting and um he not only paint things about nature and uh, she uh, gives that out uh, to whoever is visiting there you know and um it is something she said that you should look outside uh, of your room and and see whatever it is and she has a photography memory of capturing that and then uh, reflecting to others you know um and uh, in terms of um, their uh, overall uh, interest in life and it is again shown not only in their physical energy and even their mental energy you know um they say it is something they learn from their uh, great 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 parents and uh, pass it on and and from the community elders and um they have again a very sharp uh, memory in terms of uh, what is happening around them and about their past they reflect their past you know with very good uh, happy feeling and that is something um we may be able to transfer into our lifestyle also you know um like i said before their um, uh, dietary habit is something uh, uh, amazing you know and they said that you don't need all this food to get the physical energy you know they say it is something you could transfer from your mindset the way in which you know you look at things and then 
you transfer that into uh, not only yourself and you, you and they are very very um, willing to share uh, with others their um, um, the physical and mental energy and they believe that something radiates from one person to another you know so they always like to hang around with people who project that positive energy and that particular um, transformation of energy they said is a secret of their long life and it is not only the energy coming from one person to another and even from the nature and they um, believe even looking outside and they like to be out as much as possible though the weather is very hot there and they said that uh, radiating that energy within you uh, it is like an osmosis they said uh, you cannot see it but they said you can feel it you know uh, that is something uh, i learned more from this particular uh, centenarians in hawaii and uh, respecting um, others is very much there even if they are a little child and they re- they show that respect to that particular uh, living person you know so uh, they believe that divinity exists in all human beings you know either they are educated or not educated poor or rich and um, young or old and they said that divinity is something we must respect from each other you know so that is a big lesson i learned from them uh, i hope uh, you will enjoy looking at some of the images i capture on my camera and also the the uh, the video clipping and the audio clipping you know um, put it together i sincerely wish you can learn something out of this uh, hawaiian groups and they are proportionally high in terms of the group of centenarians in united states and uh, let's look at you know what 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 is the main um, secret behind this particular population group you know so i wish you all the best you know and i bow in front of you.